YouTube, what's going on? This is Redland Revs once again. We're here with the 1.8T, uh, that's a VW engine. This is in a Skoda, but you can find it in um, the same generation, uh, Golfs, Jettas, uh, so all the VW group cars, Audis, Seats, and uh, Skodas, like the one we've got here. What we're gonna be doing today, it's cleaning out the throttle body and uh, if you're ever finding that your throttle's a little bit unresponsive or you've got some flat spots in the rev range then cleaning this out can solve that problem uh, so just before we go ahead looking at what you'll need this is what the uh, the uh, gasket or the seal looks like um, and don't be cheap change it because uh, this cost us four pounds from trade part specialists VW uh, part specialists and it's not metal it's made of card so whatever's been in there has been in there for a long time I can actually see see it from the side over here I don't know if you can see that um, so don't try to reuse it because it's very very flimsy replace it because you want a tight seal um, so that's the replacement part that you need and it doesn't cost very much in addition to that you're gonna need some you're gonna need a five millimeter um, hex allen key uh, bolt. I've got it on a ratchet here, but you could also have it just an allen key with a five millimeter bit. Um, you're also going to need some carb and intake cleaner like this stuff here from Winds, and we've got this as well, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, so, looking at the component itself, that's the throttle body. It goes into the uh, intake manifold there. The one thing I want to say is that we will not be taking the entire unit off. Um, and I'll tell you the reason for that. So what we'll leave connected is this breather hose. So what we need to first do is remove this pipe um, and then that should give us access to one side and we'll spray that up with carb cleaner. Then we're gonna unloosen the four bolts. We've got two at the top, two at the bottom, um, which are the five millimeter Allen key bolts uh, to get to the other side of it and replace that and put it all back together. First problem with mine over here is that the Um, the, the screw that's holding that down is actually covered by this breather hose but you can very gently move that out of place to get your screwdriver on it which is what I'll be doing now so looking at that it's a Phillips head screw so let's go for it I'm just going to loosen this off that's a really rusty screw I should actually replace that if I can find another one uh, just to make it easier to do again if we ever need to. Yeah, I can feel it's getting slack by loosening this up. Yeah, that's all slack now. I'm going to help ease it off with a... I thought that would be a flat head, but it's not. It's just a bit annoying. I'm going to help ease it off with something here. a little bit of wiggle 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 should help you get it off there we go uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cloth or a sock and plug this up the reason for that is that it's quite a wide open hole we're going to be working right here um, we don't really want particles of dust or our tools or carb cleaner to be going down there so we're just going to quickly plug that up I'm going to just take a sock best practice is to cover that up while you're doing this job so that nothing's going to be getting in there while we're working okay so with that done we can now take a look inside um, and you should be able to see it'll be a little bit caked up with oil and stuff like that so we're going to start by cleaning this side especially around the actual valve um, we'll see there's a, a little bit of uh, carbon deposits and build up and oil and gunk and that can restrict the movement of, of that valve. Okay. okay, I've also got a toothbrush. I've also got a toothbrush here which I'm going to use in aid uh, uh, to aid in cleaning that. This bottle doesn't fire upside down obviously, so you might not be able to see very much. Yeah. 
so it's really great for this one, this one not these carbon deposits and so on. So just keep spraying it and working at that until this side is nice and clean. And you really want to get at the bit that's right there between where the valve meets the body of the, uh, of the throttle body because uh, that's where it gets caked up and affects the performance of that valve. I'm just going to keep scrubbing around and we'll get back to you guys in a minute. Yeah, so uh, once you've cleaned that side, we can begin to open this side. I'm just going to start with loosening these bolts. There's two at the top and then the more tricky ones are the two at the bottom. Once you've cracked the tension on these, you can pretty much just take them off with your fingers, which is usually safer as well. I'm going to try to go for the hardest one, which is the bottom back one. And then come back to the others. Let's make sure I get my ratchet in there, there we go. This one I'm just going to pull out now with my fingers just because it's a little bit of a pain. You don't want to lose these bolts because if they drop down there it's going to be a pain to get them out. So I'm just going to get the slack off it and take it out with my fingers. So that's the most difficult one. Now the others are just a double. This is our last one here. Uh, and then the thing should just be ready to drop off. Okay, so that's all four of those 5mm Allen key bolts off. Now, this should disconnect from here, as so. Uh, so like we said, we're going to leave this connected, we're going to leave this breather hose connected as well. Uh, there's a socket at the bottom, oh that's the one actually, that's the socket at the bottom that you don't want to disconnect if you want to avoid having to vacuum this thing. Uh, on this other side you can have a look at how gunky and dirty that is, and this is the seal that we're going to take off. Uh, I don't have a flathead screwdriver, it's a bit annoying, but... There's no, 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 no point in trying to reuse that, look at it. It's made out of card, it's been in this car for 177,000 miles, so we're not cheap anymore at Redland Revs. We've uh, gone and bought the replacement for four pounds from a VW specialist. I thought I bought out flat. Okay, so that's all off.
off. You can see how dirty the side is. And we just want to again do the same thing where we're uh, firing the carb cleaner into here, cleaning around it. So I'm going to start that now. And also be careful that you're not getting anything into your inlet manifold as well while you're doing all this work. I don't think I'll be dropping anything in it. So you just want to work your toothbrush around there and especially around the sides and just clean that all up and keep spraying it down. A lot of gunk there, you can see my toothbrush. I'm not going to be brushing my teeth with that one anytime soon. At least not until I've given it a good clean. starting to clean up in there. So, like before, just keep scrubbing until you've got it all clean, especially around the edges of the butterfly valve or whatever it is in there. So, basically to uh, test the throttle body, or we've given it a good clean, uh, we've got someone in there, put the car onto ignition one, not fully on, where the engine is running, just ignition one and uh, we can see when the valve opens how dirty it is see um, yep there you go so what we can do is that we can give it a clean around while it's open we've just got a bit of gunk right on the edges there we can give it a nice clean now this yes what's going on family as you can see it's all clean now um, and now you can actually see the gaps at the top and the bottom of the valve which were before caked up with carbon deposits uh, you saw when I was in the car my brother was filming um, when I put my foot on the throttle this opened up we've now cleaned all around that as well uh, both sides you can come and check the other side both sides are shiny clean like new that's perfect that's how we want it to be before those gaps and the valve were completely uh, covered now um, you just want to make sure that there's no carb cleaner left in there so you just want to dry clean and dry everything up with a cloth um, and then we're good to reassemble the thing and because of course we've left this the sensor over here we've left that on uh, we've left the breather hose on so we don't need to connect these two things back and because we left that sensor on we're not having to recalibrate anything either um, so that's it that's what we're going to do we're just going to put this back together now and show you how to do that while we've got this off we're just going to inspect the inlet manifold it's nice and clean just so that you'd expect uh, just going to wipe off this little bit over here on the mouth of it but really nothing nothing out of the ordinary in there everything's good so i'm not going to bother opening that all up and cleaning it because it's a petrol car not a diesel car um so it's fine we're just going to put on that throttle body back now for reassembly of course we've got this new um, seal here uh, because you'd be a fool to try to put that back on it um, now the old one has some writing on it which made it easier to know which side to put it on this one doesn't there's one side that's slightly darker and then there's one side that's kind of lighter and smoother so the lighter smoother side I'm going to put on the inlet manifold the darker side is going to go on the um, uh, on the throttle body so we're just going to line that up with the screws in there and get this on in fact that's not, not the wisest way of doing it the better way would be to get your bolts in and put that on the bolts so let's get that I'll do it with two of them over here because I've got a feeling that if I get this wrong I'll end up losing these bolts anyways.
Yeah, there we go. So that's going to make sure, once I've done that, it's going to make sure that it's all lined up with the holes in the intake manifold. Yeah, you saw me struggling to get this on with the gasket in place. So what I did is I put two screws in. I put the gasket through that on the thread on the other side. I lined them up. I had my helper hold down one of the screws with his finger just so it doesn't slip out. And then I uh, threaded this one in, then I threaded that one in. Now I, I can leave my hands free to go for the bottom ones. Throttle body is now securely on. We, uh, once getting the screws and the threads, went around diagonally, tightening them up, making sure it was all lined up, and we're really happy with that now. So the sock can come off. It's done a really good job. I'll probably put it in the laundry before I wear it, just because it's a bit wet. It smells like carb, which might be better than feet, but still. Okay. Uh, last time we had this part on, I found it was in a bit of a tricky spot, so I'm gonna try to angle it so that we have easier access to the screw. I did say I would change that, but I'm too excited right now to finish this video. So I won't go, I'm not gonna do that, but you might wanna do that if you're uh, a bit obsessive like that. And if you wanna make the job easier for you next time round. But for now, we're just gonna show you guys. That's it. And then I take my Phillips head screwdriver and then all we need to do is tighten this up and then we're good. Then we're good. Keep that here. Yeah. It's just a bit fiddly and tricky. Yeah, so uh, as you know, this is Redline Revs. This is what we do day to day, showing you how to make your car better. Uh, again, if, if you have any kind of uh, issues in terms of throttle response, or if you've got any kind of issues with your uh, um, uh, with kind of um, dead spots in your in your flat spots in your rev range, this is what you need to do. Now we're just going to fire the car up, leave it idling for a few minutes. When it starts creeping up to temperature, we're going to take it for a bit of a drive, and you're done. That's how you clean the throttle body on a 1.8T. This is Redline Revs. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe.